With a divisive new law in Arizona providing the kindling, the national debate over immigration has reignited. It's unclear, however, whether Congress and the Obama administration are prepared to act on the issue or just talk. The new state law, which Governor Jan Brewer signed last week, will send local police to detain and interrogate individuals about their rights to be in the country and create state criminal penalties for immigration violations. President Barack Obama called Arizona's law, quote, misguided, and said he'd instructed his administration, including the Justice Department, to study the law's impact on U.S. citizens' civil rights. Indeed, our failure to act responsibly at the federal level will only open the door to irresponsibility by others. And that includes, for example, the recent efforts in Arizona, which threatened to undermine basic notions of fairness that we cherish as Americans, as well as the trust between police and their communities that is so crucial to keeping us safe. In fact, I've instructed members of my administration to closely monitor the situation and examine the civil rights and other implications of this legislation. On Capitol Hill, however, the legislative agenda already is packed through the summer, and fitting in something as controversial as immigration appears unlikely. As lawmakers prepare to hit the campaign trail in November, some analysts say that Democrats are not eager to tackle the politically risky issue. Mark Krikorian of the Center for Immigration Studies said, quote, The Democrats are kind of between a rock and a hard place. If they really make a serious push for amnesty, the Tea Party protests are going to triple. They could actually lose the House because of this, and if they don't do it, not lose the House. But if they don't, at least appear to be doing something, Luis Gutierrez has, for instance, threatened to call on Hispanics to stay home in November. That's not an empty threat.